Hello, welcome back to Mind Network. I'm with Terry Lynch again, the President and CEO of Power Nickel. Terry, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, obviously, it's been about, what is it, six months since we've had a catch up. It is. Um, but, before yeah. we go into all of the splashy results that you've had since then, um, just remind people who are Power Nickel, where you're based, um, and then maybe can you just lead into the cap structure as well? Sure, sure. Yeah, so we're Power Nickel. Generally, I would say we're, we're known for our NISC, Nickel PGM exploration play in uh, Namaska, Quebec. Uh, we're based in Toronto. Our share structure, about 129 million shares outstanding. Uh, fully diluted, about 180. Um, and just finished a round of uh, raised 4.8 million about four weeks ago, six weeks ago, at 50 cents a uh, unit. And uh, stocks around, I don't know, mid 24s or something like that. Uh, you know, that, that was because it was flow through, so it was, a, it was actually charity flow through, so buybacks, so it was really good. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Good, okay. Um, part of the perks, obviously, of being in Quebec or Canada, we've got the flow through there, but... Yeah, I uh, mean, it's amazing when you when you think of the um, uh, benefits you get. Just just to s summarize for the viewers, it's quite interesting. You know, when the stock, when we announced the deal, the stock was 28 cents, and uh, we raised the money at 50 cents, the company got 50 cents to work with. The uh, Quebec investors basically put the money at 50, sold it the next second, to my end use investors for 25 cents. And, uh, you know, so now we have long term investors that are in the stock at 25. The Quebec investor basically saw their tax uh, rate go from 54% to 42, so they're happy. Uh, the government gets $4.8 million put into critical minerals, so that's its public policy objective, so they're happy. And, of course, my investors are happy because it's like they put a quarter in and they got 50 cents working for them to de risk an investment they like. So that's why working in Quebec is so amazing, among uh, many other reasons, but that's, a, that's definitely one of the big ones. Obviously, since we last caught up, just remind us what's happened since then, because obviously there's a reason why you've done that yeah, financing. Yeah, so, so, so we, we basically drilled uh, almost, I guess, close to 15,000 meters of drilling over the last little bit, and we've had, I think, six assay releases, each one almost better than the next, so we've had some spectacularly great holes. Uh, one was 40 meters at 1.6%, Followed that up by 10 meters of almost 3% nickel EQ, followed by 16 meters of 1.6, 14 meters, you know, so it keeps on going. Yeah. So we've had uh, a very robust response with our ore bodies. So, so we're giving guidance, we're saying, look, uh, we had 3.1 million tons of historical resource when we acquired it, uh, and we expect we'll be updating our 43101 uh, by the end of Q3, and uh, we think, you know, we'll be containing more than 100,000 tons of contained nickel at that point. So it'd be like eight million tons and maybe one and a half percent or better. So that will make us commercial. So we believe this is going to be a commercial mine. The question of is how big is it going to be? And we think it's going to be very big. Well, it's a bit different as well, isn't it? Because it's, it's high grade nickel and then you've obviously got some pretty good grade copper, cobalt, PGMs in there as well. Yep. Um, but from memory, this is this is more of a pod system, isn't it? So it's, it's very high grade pod, but the next steps aren't just obviously growing this particular pod, but it's actually the expansion potential and the regional potential of yeah. building out this license. Yeah, absolutely right. So every single nickel sulfide mine in the history of time has always been multiple pods. So we've got one pod that looks like it's going to make us commercial, but it's like highly unlikely that'll be the only one. Yeah. So we already know because we've already done, we did a step out five kilometers on strike from a, a, in the ultramafic sequence uh, where we saw you know exposed ultramafic at surface. And there we drilled down, and, and, and at 60 meters, we hit eight meters of one ounce PGMs. I mean, that's a bonanza hole, and clearly everyone was smiling that day, you know. But uh, and when you get those types of holes, it's indicative of what happened at Raglan and what happened at Norilsk. What, what happens on these nickel sulfide projects, these massive ones that are really big events, they'll get pooling of the PGMs up top, you know, with big kickers like that. So that's super exciting for us. And, it, and then we follow that up by doing an airborne EM over that project and it lit up. And so, yeah, we're thinking we're, we're pretty stoked about what we, what we see exploration-wise in front of us and what we've already gotten. And how, what, what does the exploration model look like now? So obviously you've, 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 you've done a lot of the NIST drilling already. The assays are all out. You know what you have there, the new resources it, to be expected. Yeah. Is, is, is the new strategy now with this new financing to, to explore more regionally, or are you still yeah, focusing yeah. on? No, 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 we're looking at exploring more regionally. So, okay. so we've identified a couple of you know would be pods. That we'll, so we'll be looking to follow them up. We're you're using a uh, in addition to using the airborne EM, which is highly effective for 
uh, it's basically a, a tool to identify magnetic bodies at 250 meters. And if you do this in an area where there's not graphite, it's a very reliable indicator. So we've got that lighting up, it's a very good sign. So we had like a light red over our core deposit, which we already know is great. We've got some purples. Okay. Purples is where you want to go with that thing. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. So, so that's good. But we're also doing something new. There's a, there's a new tool in the exploration shed. Uh, the Aussies invented it. It's a company called Space, uh, Fleet Space Technologies. Mm -hmm. And it's called Ambient Noise Tomography. Okay. A-N-T for short. And what it is is they put these uh, little silver diodes, uh, like stainless steel looking things, and they press it into the earth. It sends a sound pulse down 2,000 meters comes back and is captured as a sound map. So for example, where we had that 40 meter hole of 1.6%, that correlates to a very specific spot on the Earth where we know the coordinates on it because we drilled it, and that coordinates with a sound map at that spot. So that sound map will have a signature, that's a massive sulfide. So you start to look for the other signatures like that throughout your database mm -hmm. that this information collects, and all of a sudden that really high grades your exploration potential. So the, 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 that group just raised another uh, Series B round I think around $75 million, but I believe Rio Tinto led it. So, I mean, it's been super successful. We think it'll be highly effective for us, and we're deploying that uh, next week at Damascus. Oh, amazing. So, yeah. Okay. And so, how, how long does this campaign go on for? So, what, what are the steps in terms of when yeah, the exploration so, so, works so, going to so, be happening? So, it, so, you do a grid like pattern about 100 meters uh, apart with these geodes, and, and then, you know, because we have 45 square kilometers to do it in, it'll take probably three months to do the whole thing. Yep. But w we start getting results back within a week, because okay, it's, it's, it's actually linked wirelessly and uplinked to a satellites. So we get that in real time when we start to, so we, well, we basically, you model it first over your core deposit, because yep. you already know what the science is there. Exactly. So you correlate that, then you start to see, hey, did we miss a couple of turns? Maybe you did, maybe you can add a couple of cheap million tons there. Let's do that. But then we also have these signatures we can start to look for it along the ultramafic sequence first and then across the rest of the ore body. So probably be doing that for about three months, but we'll start drilling in mid-July based on that intel. And uh, uh, we'll be drilling from now until the end of uh, the year. Brilliant, okay. Um, walk us through the next 12 months. Obviously, you've just, you've just indicated there that obviously there's a lot of exploration work, early stage work, and then obviously following up with the drill bit. In an ideal scenario, where, where will we we'll, we'll be sitting this time next year? Yeah, so we think we'll be sitting on a, probably a full-blown feasibility study. Good. So we, we've got a uh, you know a major that's working with us right now that you know, we expect that'll lead to something shortly. Uh, the next money that comes in will be strategic, and and we'll be using that to develop a full feasibility on NIST and show that this is going to become a mine. The question is just how big is it going to be? That's what we're trying to prove out with the exploration. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the other part of it is how profitable will it be? And that's what, the, the neat part about uh, having a high grade nickel sulfide mine is it's a lot easier to go to the nickel powders, nickel wire, nickel anodes, and that's really where the money is. That's what the battery guys need. And, and it's much higher value. So, you know, where you spend $250 million, you can make nickel sulfate like every other nickel guy. Uh, and compete with that space and get LME pricing, or you spend another $150 million, you move into nickel powders, nickel wires, you're getting three times pricing. Okay. Transforms your economics, so it's way better, and it's also way more environmentally friendly. Good, so you're thinking ahead quite far already. We are. Yeah, good. Terry, thanks for the update. Great to be here. Cheers. Cheers.